what are the applications of this? Well, we can already see compression is going to be very cool. If I can retain information of the matrix with way less terms, then I can compress the amount of terms I need. A um, little bit of a caveat there, given that you'll need to keep U, sigma, and V elements as opposed to just the you know, matrix A. But that's, that's still a ways to save. Um, so what can the application, what, what can we get here? Well, some matrix properties, we can get the range of A, the um, rank of A, and we can get the matrix norms pretty easily just from the sig uh, singular values themselves. Um, like we just said, low rank approximation. You know, can help us reduce our our, our like our uh, dimensionality greatly. Um, can help us with least square fitting. If we need to solve some uh, matrix equations, we can use the SVD to do that. Um, and again, like we said, compression and noise removal. So for compression, we keep um, only, let's say, only the important terms. And we, by important, we mean the terms corresponding to the higher singular, higher valued singular values, because we don't care after that. Um, for noise removal, doing the singular value decomposition, we can r ignore the low sing uh, singular value terms again. So let's say ignore the low sigma i corresponding terms um, because they correspond to high frequencies. Think of this as, you know, singular value, think of it as wavelength, lower singular value, lower wavelength, higher frequency. You don't want high frequencies in a signal. It produces a lot of noise, so we'll get rid of it. Um, for image compression, that's the example we're going to do. You'll see this when we get the code up here. But for image compression, how does this help us? Well, think of an image as a matrix. An image in computers is a matrix of values. And we'll just do black and white because it's really simple. Um, so if we have an image as, as a matrix, we can perform SVD. And we can say, we can then ask the question, how many terms do we need to get a representative image that's similar. We'll see what we're talking about when we hop into the Jupyter Notebook. I'll see you there.